So you got 200,000 people fired last year from the tech industry. You got software engineer job postings down 24%. And then you got ChatGPT, GitHub Copilot, and a suite of other AI tools being released. And I just hate to see what the media, YouTube channels, people on Twitter are doing because there's such a doom and gloom sentiment. But if you actually take just one minute and look at the jobs data, the objective data, it's not so over. Specifically, there's a single graph that tells the real story and it's a graph of hiring and layoffs from Yahoo Finance from the last, I guess it would be three years. So let's take a look. The layoffs here are in orange and the hiring since the pandemic, that is 2019, is in the purple. So yes, if you're sharp, you can see most companies still hired three to 10 times more people than they just laid off. The economics of why this happened are pretty simple. Lower interest rates literally mean more money because the same money is getting lent out more and more times. Tech was sponging up all this money because of its traditionally high returns. And consumers were also spending more money on tech related stuff due to being at home and also having basically free money from the government. So naturally in divisions like consumer tech and risky new ventures, when the money is cheap, companies are gonna be hiring aggressively and over hiring. This is exactly the time as a company you wanna be building these risky moonshot ideas like metaverse, crypto gaming, you know, the list goes on. But naturally things are starting to reverse. The CEO of Microsoft said customers are learning to do more with less. And the CEO of Google said that the economic reality has changed compared to the past two years. Now, yes, overhiring does deserve criticism because these are people's lives and livelihood. But here's my larger point here. Because of a bias towards focusing on negative things, now we all know the news does this. It's going to get more clicks if you tell the doomsday it's all over story rather than a more balanced narrative as I'm trying to share now. You can just say, I saw this meme with high engagement. The tech job market is burning. There's no point in investing in your coding education. So. You know, this must be true. So the economy as it does will go up and down, but AI on the other hand is here to stay. And in fact, it's moving in permanently. So let's talk about that. You can see that 33% of software engineers are now using AI tools at work. And some people on Twitter are saying that because of AI, these jobs that got laid off are not coming back. And I do actually think it's more positive than most people are actually talking about. This tech is not brand new, so it's not gonna be the overnight industry breaker that a lot of people expect. I mean, GitHub Copilot has been out for a little while, but before that GPT-3, which Copilot is built on, well, I think it's been out for close to two years. And yes, to be fair, it is improving extremely quickly. The changes will take a significant amount of time, but I do have another much stronger point here. Every time in history that a large productivity breakthrough has come to the software industry, it's created an explosion of jobs and wealth and not a contraction. Let me give you a few examples. So go back all the way to a language like C, which technically is a high level language compared to some languages. Now, back then you could have said that assembly programmers are screwed. And since you can write C so much faster that the amount of jobs is gonna go down. But what these people couldn't anticipate is the fact that now someone could write a full operating system on their own. One person now had a lever to move the whole industry and create an insane new amount of wealth and opportunity. Let's move forward in time. Then we had cloud computing. Now you don't need a data center to launch your app. So, oh no, no more server rooms. What are these people gonna do? Because now it's all centralized in AWS. But hold on, now things were more efficient and you could build a company, you could deploy your app without having all that. And here's my favorite one because it's close to my heart that not that many people talk about. It's the web framework revolution. Look at the year Ruby on Rails came out. Now, maybe it was a coincidence, but at the same time, so many web app based companies built on Ruby on Rails and just look at this damn list. All of these were founded basically in the same five year period. Airbnb, Twitch, Stripe, GitHub, Shopify, Groupon, Hulu, and AngelList. And it was the same story. Wow, now a single developer with a framework can do the work of three or four. Companies could exist that could not exist before because you needed so much money to hire this initial team of devs to even build the first version. And now it was easier to become a developer in general. So the industry was exploding from all sides. Now back to the AI question, AI, is big. So in fact, maybe it is the exception to the pattern. But alternatively, AI could be this same effect on steroids because the AI tech itself will create more companies. In fact, Sam Altman, the founder of OpenAI, has said that he was surprised someone else didn't create ChatGPT before he did. 
alluding to the fact that the AI tech has a ton of latent undiscovered potential to be uncovered by hackers and scrappy developers who will go on to build billion dollar companies that could have never existed before. Case in point, Jarvis AI, basically chat GPT with a different interface, built on GPT-3, billion dollar company, hundreds of new jobs created. The people who are going to capitalize on the AI revolution, become billionaires. They're not the people who watch a 10 ways to get rich with chat GPT video on YouTube. They're the people who already know how to code. They understand a little something about product development. They can build a front end around the API. They can move fast and break things. The Rails developers already knew web development and JavaScript. And the AI developers poised to win are already in a position to attack right now. The real way to lose is to wait on the sideline and see what happens because then you're going to be behind all the people who didn't. Speaking of that, I have to call out one more group of people. The 60% plus of developers who are still not using any AI tools. Because between ChatGPT replacing Stack Overflow, GitHub Copilot, with its sick autocompletes, it seems like a no-brainer to at least start plugging it in your workflow. Especially when you see GitHub did a controlled study where code accuracy went up by 10% and coding speed went up by 55%. Now you could say this was a simple task, just writing a web server in JavaScript, but regardless, if you are in this camp of developers not using AI still, let me know why below because I'm genuinely curious. I won't pretend to have all the answers because I don't have them. Uh, I'm purely relying on history rather than speculation and the madness of crowds here uh but that being said if you were actually laid off uh my condolences all right if you made it all the way to the end thank you let me know what you think about the ai developments do you think i'm completely wrong and everything is screwed and we're just in a slow motion car crash towards the end of programming jobs or are things going to blow up bigger than ever let me know and i'll see you in the next video